Wars is a huge part of pop culture and you'd be hard pressed to find someone who hasn't seen the films or at the very least aware of them with the franchise spanning books, games and other merchandise. Hell, check out this Stormtrooper hand warmer. Well, they, they say hand warmer, but it warms other things as well. Ah, ah it burns! It burns! Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, where was I? An epic space opera set in a fictional galaxy long in the past. The main focus of Star Wars is the struggle between the benevolent Jedi and the evil Sith, as they use their connection to a mystical energy of the universe called the Force to determine the fate of the galaxy. These aren't the droids you're looking for. There are currently eight films in the series, with uh, a ninth, The Last Jedi, due out in cinema soon. So let's go through these in the release order, the order I would recommend watching them in. This is probably going to take a couple of episodes, so for our first episode, let's have a look at the original trilogy. Rebels have stolen plans that may assist in their struggle against the tyrannical empire, but the ship carrying them is captured, so the plans are given to two droids who escape to a nearby planet. The droids soon come into the possession of a young boy, Luke Skywalker, who along with the ragtag group of friends he makes along the way, must try to get the droids and the plans safely to the rebels and stop the Empire from using their secret weapon against the galaxy. Released in 1977, Star Wars was a global phenomenon and continues to influence pop culture across generations to this day. The Empire is far from defeated and is closing in on the Rebels' new base of operations, as Luke is learning more about the ways of the Force. Many consider this the best film of the original trilogy, with one of the most iconic and often misquoted moments in cinema history. But Empire is also a very middle film that on its own can be rather slow, with no real beginning or end, but as part of the trilogy raises the stakes and leaves us eager for the third film. The Empire is strengthening its position to defeat the Rebellion once and for all, but the Rebels believe they have found an opportunity to strike a fatal blow. With a risky plan where much can go wrong and everything at stake, can Luke and his friends defeat the Empire and save the galaxy? Jedi quickly wraps up many of the cliffhangers from The Empire Strikes Back before driving towards the conclusion of the trilogy and the final confrontation between Luke and Vader. The original Star Wars trilogy was fantastic back in the late 70s, early 80s, and is still fantastic today, with a great story drawing on many themes and set in an interesting universe. 1997 Special Edition saw extra scenes added and updates made to some of the special effects, but it's worth remembering that much of this is based on the framework that was already there, and the lightsaber and uh, spaceship battles were nothing but astounding in the 80s. The Star Wars original trilogy is by no means perfect and has its flaws, but this is one of the cases where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, and when those parts include the fantastic score, breaking special effects you're left with a trilogy that has been enjoyed for generations and likely for many more to come as one of the highest grossing media franchises Star Wars also helped push sci-fi into the mainstream Star Trek Stargate and the slew of superhero films we've had over the past few years owe a great deal to Star Wars so 
Star Wars. Come on, everyone loves Star Wars, but do you have a favourite film amongst the original trilogy? And are you looking forward to The Last Jedi? And most importantly, is anyone available to babysit so my wife and I can go and see it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe button here and some of our previous videos here. And we'll see you next time. Bye.